The member for O'Connor. <laughs> Order. The Treasurer is not helping. I'll give the call to the member for Hume. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. In 2006, the Prime Minister said the government has failed to keep a lid on inflation in Australia's economy and, as a consequence, interest rates have kept going up and up. After eight consecutive rate rises on this government's watch, will the Prime Minister take responsibility for rates going up and up? Why do Australian families always pay more under Labor? Give the, I, I give the call to order. Members on my right, I give the call to the Prime Minister. This year. Order. Well, I, I'm, asked, I'm asked by the Shadow Treasurer in 2023 about, about a quote from 2006. And they say they're backward looking. <laughs> and they say they can't keep Order. up with the times. I don't know where they get that from, Mr. Speaker. I don't know where they Order. get that from. But, 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 but I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure that whoever faxed that quote <laughs> to the shadow treasurer, I'll just accept that perhaps it's accurate, even though. It wasn't. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't detailed uh, what was there. But uh, we actually have a plan uh, to take pressure off inflation. To therefore, that's the way you take pressure off interest rates. And we have a plan also so that monetary policy works with fiscal policy together in order to achieve an outcome. And that's why. The Reserve Bank Governor uh, last week was talking about uh, the inflation as being at least half and perhaps even more, two-thirds, uh, because of supply chain restraints. And what are we doing about supply chain? As part of our three-period relief the member for Hume restraint, has asked his question. the relief is energy price relief that they voted against, cheaper medicines that they don't support, uh, cheaper Childcare the that they don't the support, a fee-free TAFE that they don't support. The repair is about supply chains, and we have legislation for the National Reconstruction Fund so that we make more things here, and they're voting against that, uh, as well as uh, dealing with the skills crisis that we inherited. And the restraint uh, was shown by us returning those revenue gains uh, to the budget. Uh, that, that's our plan. Uh, those opposite have no plans except saying no and getting quotes from 2006 uh, faxed through uh, to their offices. Uh, the truth is that what we need in 2023 is a forward-looking government, and that's what you have right here, a forward-looking government that's looking at the challenges that we inherited off, off the, member the for former Longman government, the problems that they created. It's one thing to create problems, which you did. You left us with a trillion dollars of debt, a massive skills shortage, no, no industry policy plans, manufacturing going backwards, but then you stand in the way of solutions as well. No wonder you won't ask Prime the Treasurer Mrs. a question. Time has expired.